Hey, what's up guys? Blake from Top Dog Digital. And today's video, I really want to discuss whether you're investing your time, your money, and your energy into the right things for your chocolate ripple business. So this video in particular is probably going to be for those guys who I would say are between 3K to 10K a month in junk removal and have been so for a long period of time. If you're in the early stages, first couple months, that's kind of the process anyway. You know, so this might not relate to you. It may apply, but it's something that might be useful for you down the line to make sure that you're not stuck in the same spots in months six through eight and eight to 12. Because your business should be showing signs of scalability as that time goes on. Granted, you have winter season, so you'll see some of the, you know, you might have a big summer and then things kind of lower down in the winter. That's natural. But the main thing that you want to make sure is that you're not at the same place this summer, next summer. Okay. You want to see that growth or you're not in the same position during this spring as you are next spring. You should see growth in between those time frames. So for those of you who have been in the same spot for a couple of years or the past year, or whatever the case may be, you really need to reflect inward and see what your processes are. So what are you relying on to get business? Okay. Is it marketing? If so, if it's marketing, why is it failing or is it fail? Does it need more funds? Are you not spending enough on ads? Is it organic? Have you not done any marketing at all? And you're kind of capped because if so, then you may want to look at to marketing. Or you need to increase your time and efforts into your organic strategy. Okay. It's all going to be here and in your mindset for the most part. Because I think a lot of you have what it takes to put the funds available for marketing. You're hesitant to do so because of your fear of failure. Or even on the organic side, some of you maybe aren't getting in front of the right people because of a fear. Maybe you're hesitant to meet in person with local realtors and property managers and apartment complexes. Maybe you have a fear of stepping into that office and pitching your services or building that connection. Maybe you have a fear of loss of money and that's why you haven't done marketing. And that's something that's possibly holding you back. Your fear of failure in spending money is stopping you from marketing, whereas those marketing dollars may have taken your business from five, six, seven thousand a month or eight thousand dollars a month to sixteen to twenty thousand dollars a month if done properly. There's most likely something that's hindering you and your business. Because one thing that I found over time is it's rare for there to be a business problem. It's usually a personal problem that's brought into the business. So something that you are bringing into the business with your mindset or your fears or your work ethic could be the key to what's holding you back. And depending on what your strategies have been so far, you need to really dive deep into that and figure out what that is. So for those of you trying to grow organically, right? Let's say you haven't spent any money in marketing whatsoever. You've been in the junk removal business for over a year. Many times I'll get on the phone with a lot of you and I'll look at your Google My Business and I'll see less than 20 reviews. How could you possibly plan to grow your junk removal business organically and not have a process in place or an effort in place to get more reviews? Because I know you've been in front of a lot more than 20 people, yet you're sitting under 20 reviews. And you've probably serviced hundreds of clients at this point, or at least a couple hundred. Most of you, it's not even close to 20. Most of the time, it's five reviews, 10 reviews, 15. So that's something that you need to adjust, right? Or maybe you're a junk removal company right now that's at that mark. And you have money put to the side for marketing, but you're just scared to lose it. So it's just sitting in an account somewhere. Or you haven't put together a plan for credit to use that and leverage it for marketing or whatever the case may be. You could also be holding yourself back 
especially with another company who maybe can do the marketing for you and put you in a better position than you can yourself if you don't understand it. So in that case, your fear of failure is typically holding you back or your fear of loss of money is keeping you from making that leap. It's going to be one or the other. It's either going to be money and willing to invest or time and effort. You have to make a choice between the two or do both and really fill your business. Okay. But you need to decide because all of you are on different levels watching this video, which one that is and what it is that you think is holding yourself back. Because if you've been in the same position for a long period of time, the past year, two years, three years, you name it, then you're expecting the same thing. You're doing the same thing over and over again, most likely, and you're expecting that to get you different results. Chances are that's not going to happen. You're missing something. Or you need to do more of something. It's one or the other. You guys need to figure out what that is. Okay? And I make these videos in hopes that I unlock the keys to something you might be missing that you can use for your business. Or you can add multiple different ways or strategies to add in that will help you grow your business. That's the key here. That's why I do these. All right. And it can be done in a lot of different ways. So that's why I don't just talk about marketing, for instance. Yeah, Google ads are, are great in most markets. They can get you to another level. But some of you aren't ready for Google ads or you're too scared to run Google ads. That fear of failure once again. Okay, well, you can do it organically, but it's going to take more time and effort. So you need to make sure that is your website up to par? Do you have everything you need on your website? What are you missing? If so, if you are missing things, are you getting reviews? Are you building trust within the platform? Are you doing the things that you need to do consistently? Not every now and then consistently on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, to put you in a better position and set you up for more success down the line. Because the work that you put in today and next week and the week after is typically not going to show itself today or next week or the week after. It's going to start showing usually 60, 90 days after. And you need to understand that and put the work in now so that you're putting yourself in the best spot for success in the next couple months. And I'm hoping this video kind of gives you an idea when you're thinking about where you are right now of what it is that you're missing and what it is that could possibly holding you people that are at that level, what's holding you back. Okay. So examine that. Think of the things that you're doing. Take the time to write down what you've been doing and maybe what you're not doing that you could take advantage of. Because chances are, Almost all of you have something that you're not taking advantage of that you need to set aside time for. Are you not spending enough time on social media? Are you, you not putting your business out there effectively? Are you not connecting with realtors and property managers? Are you not marketing at all if you have the marketing dollars to do it? Are you not getting reviews? What is it that you're missing? Because if you're at that level, you are definitely missing something or you haven't had enough time to grow your business. All right. So really reflect in that and put together a game plan that not only figures out what you could do better, but how you're going to do it better and what your next course of action is to put yourself in a better position to where you're not stuck at that same mark in three months or in five months or next year. Because I know nobody came here to build a business to just get by. It's This is hard work. Being a business owner, is it can be stressful. It's hard. It's not easy. We all did it for a reason, though. For financial freedom, to provide for our families. You know, we wanted to build something of our own. Whatever it was, you didn't envision yourself building this and being paycheck to paycheck. Because you could just go get a job. So I really want to help you guys to reflect, take the things that I talk about in these videos that will hopefully help you help you figure out what you might be missing and then add that to your business to start scaling. If you guys ever have any questions at all, feel free to leave one in the comments. Reach out to me personally. I'm always here to provide any value that I can and help. 
because I do believe in creating something of your own, a business for yourself, for your family, and really going all in and building something special because I've seen it happen time and time again. I know that anyone with the amount of drive needed is capable to do this. It's just a matter of consistency, of focus, and really diving deep into figuring out what works for you, your business, and your market. So I hope this helps you guys. Definitely reflect, figure out if there is something holding you back and you're at that level, figuring out what it is and what steps you can take to get out of that level and get to the next one. Because chances are it's one thing, most likely maybe two that are holding you back. Okay? Hope this helps you guys. Give the video a like if this was something that provided value to you. And if you haven't already, I would love if you would subscribe to the channel. If you found this information useful, I would love to provide more useful value to you and information in hopes that it will help you grow your drunk removal business. Thanks, guys.